I just noticed today that YouTube has a new upload section or a new upload process and so I thought I would give a little tutorial about how this works. It's it's a lot more convenient in my eyes. So I'm just going to pick a video here, um, something kind of short. So I selected the file from my computer using the big giant button in the middle of the screen. I hope you saw that. I, I should slow down and explain this a little better. So here's the name of the video, a little progress bar showing how it's going along. We're a little over 10%. I'm going to take off the AVI because that always looks ugly. I have an opportunity to capitalize video in this title section. The description, I, you know, test video, whatever. And this is what will appear in the below the video, the little thing that expands. That's what the description is. Tags, I don't have any need for tags. I'll just put video, whatever. Um, if I had something else, I would tag it with test and, you know, things like that mp4, YouTube, why not? Privacy and publish settings. This is something important. Public, I mean it's kind of self-explanatory, but anyone can search for it and view. This is absolutely public. There's no privacy whatsoever. Unlisted means anyone with the link can view. And this is interesting. If I don't copy and paste this link anywhere, then it's essentially private, unless someone happens to type this series of letters into their browser by chance. But if I give this link, I copy and paste it to one of my friends, then they are able to watch it, and they also gain the ability to pass this link to other people, and then they can watch it. So it'll spread in that way. But if they just type in Lynn's video, test video, if they type in any, any of that into the search bar, my video will not come up. So this is sort of like a phone number. Everyone can't just come to your house, but they can pass this phone number around and then they'll be able to call you. That's what unlisted means. And public, by extension, would be putting it in the phone book, putting it in the search, uh, search capabilities of YouTube. And private means only people you choose can view. And this is a little bit more of a hassle than I typically worry about. I, I just put everything as unlisted and then I pass the link to people that I trust. But if it is something very sensitive, then you can click private and then this will not show up in search results and I don't know why that says zero percent up there. It looks like a hundred to me. But private, it means it will not show up in search results, obviously. And there isn't just a link that you can visit. It's you have to give a specific person access and that person would have to have a YouTube account or at least a Google account I'm not sure exactly how that works but if they don't have a YouTube account and you haven't expressly given that account permission to view your video they will not be able to so I'm just gonna leave well I'll just leave it private because I'm not gonna even unlock this I'm just gonna delete it as soon as I'm done category um, education, because I'm educating you about how to put stuff on YouTube. And license rights and ownership, another important feature. Standard YouTube license means that they are not legally allowed to download your video, um, but there are, there are illegal or workaround means of downloading a YouTube video. That's just a fact of life. But this means that at least you can uh, try to press charges or, or get your uh, get your license enforced. Creative Commons means that they are able to download your video and they're also able to do the remix section of YouTube which is where you uh, take other videos and put them together using the YouTube editing software. Um, so this doesn't mean a whole lot because like I said people can still download it but standard YouTube license means you still own it it still belongs to you in some way nobody can just use it for anything Creative Commons means anybody that has the has the right to view this video as we set up here anyone who has the right to see it has the right to use it and republish it to other things as long as they attribute it to you that's what attribution means it means legally they have to say that K9 Pete made this video originally, or made this section of the video. Okay, so my v my video is uploaded, upload complete. I can view it here, so I could click that link and go to it. I'm not sure if everybody has this monetization tab, but that means that you put ads over it. You have to confirm that you have all the rights, 
and then you can overlay in video ads which are the things that pop up at the bottom of the screen you can click the little X to get away true view in stream ads means a video ad at the beginning and then you're sometimes able to skip it maybe you're always able to skip it I'm not completely sure of all the specifics and product placement I don't even know what they mean by this I I know what product placement is it means you're holding a coke can or something in your in your video do I need to click this now that I said coke can I don't know I'm not really clear on that sorry advanced settings this is if you want to not allow comments users can vote on it pretty personalized here do you allow video responses I haven't ever gotten a video response that means anything so I you know I just leave all these clicked I'm not too picky about it syndication this is an interesting new thing yes make this video available on mobile phones and TV note this video may not available on all devices due to copyright or licensing issues and a friend of mine has not an iPad but something similar to an iPad I'm not sure who makes it but it's a little tablet thing and he's not able to see YouTube videos that have copyrighted material but he can see all the other ones so I guess this is a feature um, that now company big companies that have a lot of intellectual property can say no this is not available on mobile phones and TV and then in the same way that his little fake iPad thing couldn't see it um, your video won't be won't be available on certain things so for educational videos I I would think you'd want to make it as as accessible as possible I think you'd want to say yes do you want to enable embedding again I don't really see why you wouldn't unless you're really really careful about your own um, your own product not being in the wrong location if you don't want to be misrepresented on a shady website you might uh, disable embedding but the, I should explain what embedding is that's when you see a little YouTube video in some other location other than YouTube if you go to Khan Academy and you know this is an embedded video it's a YouTube clip you can click on it and it has the same controls as YouTube but it doesn't have the comments under it and it's not on youtube.com that's what embedding means so if you enable this that means other people could potentially use your video um, on their website and sort of claim it as themselves 3d video if your video is in 3d then you should look into this it mine isn't recording date video location these are interesting you can put I'm not in California over here um, that's interesting I, I kinda wanna delete that if you're interested in geotagging your videos and telling well I guess the attribution is pretty cool I'll put today and then you always have to save the changes I think eventually it'll save on its own but you can click save so anyway it's already uploaded it's, it's been ready there's no other step to do I was just going over all of these and then I go over to the actual page and it loads and see I have an ad did I, did I click ads? yeah that, that, this is a true view in stream ad it says it says there's a video coming up I can skip the video in five seconds I don't want to listen to it uh, and it has these nice little icons it says this is private yes it's monetized you have the option to add it to one of your playlists from right over here I'll add it to my favorites and it also has a nice share button this is pretty cool so you can click Facebook you can click Twitter you can plus one your own video on Google Plus you can start a hangout about your video with friends you can watch your video with friends um, that's all well and good makes it makes sharing a little easier and you can click add more videos which I think oh it'll just do that same process again so I really like this new YouTube thing I hope you can I hope you have a better understanding of it now